let us see how we can solve the July 2020 questions so I'll be uploading all the videos very soon make sure that you subscribe so that you can get notified when I upload them now for the 51st question we have a parking lot charges one dollar plus $25 for every hour our part year of in which a vehicle is parked a function C of H that represents the parking cost is so we know that the parking cost comprises of a fixed charge which is one dollar plus an hourly charge which is 0.25 dollars so the cost will be hourly charge plus the fixed charge and the hourly charge will to 0.25 per each hour so if it is each hours we have 0.25 times each then plus the fixed cost which doesn't change therefore the correct answer is option C Now the 52nd question is this, item 52 refers to the following arrow diagram which shows a function f. So from the function you can see 2 mouse onto 5, 5 onto 8, 8 onto 11 and 11 onto 14. Which of the following best describe the function? So we know that the function or the equation of the function can be given as y is equal to the constant difference in y over constant difference in x times x plus c so the constant difference in y is by finding the difference between these values to see if they are constant so 14 minus 11 is 3 then 11 minus 8 is 3 8 minus 5 is 3 so that is how you find the difference and for this one too you need to check whether the difference is constant if it is constant then we can use this formula so 11 minus 8 is 3 8 minus 5 is 3 and 5 minus 2 is 3 therefore the equation will be y is equal to changing difference in y which is 3 over 3 the difference in x is also 3 so we got 3 over 3 plus x which is the same as y equal x plus c so we can pick any points from here to find the value of c so let's pick the first one when x equal 2 y is equal to 5 so we solve for c to get c equal 3 and we substitute c here to get y equal x plus 3 so that will give us this equation which is this option a then option uh, item 53 item 53 if the sum if the sum of the interior angles of a regular of a polygon is four right angles then the polygon is a so we know that if you have a quadrilateral we have a quadrilateral we can find two triangles in it and connect one of the vectors to the opposite vectors without any line intersecting this is the only way we can divide the triangles so we have this being equal to half of 360 which is 180 so a triangle has each of the angles in it being 180 degrees so 180 plus 180 will give you 360 
so one eighty plus one it will give you three sixty. So we can see that this polygon has one, two, three, four sides, and it's the correct angle is D quadrilateral. So we don't want to divide the quadrilateral into these two triangles. We can also decide to do it the other way around. That way you cannot bring this line because you don't want any of the lines to intersect. Move on to the next question, which is the 54th question. Item 54 refers to the following diagram of a triangle. In the right angle triangle above, which trigonometry ratio is equal to 4 over 8? So, you know, 4 out of 8 is the side which is opposite to angle X and the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So if you look for a trick we should look for a trigonometry ratio that contains the opposite the opposite and adjacent and that one is either sine or the cosecant but we don't have that cosecant here we have only the sine so the sine of this angle x will be the correct answer so let's check and see if sin x will give us that result so we know sin x will be equal to opposite which is bc over ac now bc is 4 and ac is 8 therefore the correct answer is option a Now let's look at item 55. Item 55 refers to the following diagram of an isosceles triangle. So we know that in an isosceles triangle, the sum of the interior angles 30x and 30 should be equal to 180. So in the triangle, the value of x. To find the value of x, we sum up the angles and equate to 180. So this will give us 180 minus 30 minus 30 is the same as 180 minus 60 and that will give us 120 degrees. So the correct answer is option C. Now let's look at the item 56 it refers to the following diagram which shows a transformation that maps triangle POQ into triangle O P prime Q P O P prime Q prime. Now we want to find the uh, transformation, the type of transformation that has taken place. So to do that we examine the coordinates. Look at point P when P maps onto P prime. So this is point P, it moves onto P prime. Look at it. It was 4, 2. Now the coordinate has swapped. It has swapped and we negated the Y coordinate. Then look at this one too. Q and Q prime. 4, 0. It has swapped and the, this one is negated. You know, negative 0 is the same as 0. So it means in general this is the the mapping and we know this mapping in transformation refers to a 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation about the origin or it is also referred to as the negative 90 degrees rotation about the origin so the correct answer is option b now item 57 refers to the following diagram which shows a translation and in the diagram the translation by which a b is mapped onto a prime b prime is represented by so we know that a translation is just an addition of a vector 
So let the vector that we added be this. I'll have component AB. Then if you apply it to this point, we need to get this point. And if we apply it to this point, we need to get this point. Now let's check for this. If this is the point, then if this is the point, then we can write it as if this is the point, then we can write it as um, um, a column vector. So we have a plus two, then b plus five. It should give us four. So by equality of vectors, by let us first of all subtract this four minus two and six minus five. That will give us two one. By equality of vectors, you know a is equal to two and b for one. So the factor that is applied, the translation by which a b is mapped onto a prime b prime is two one, which is option b. Now you can check by adding two to five, which will give you seven, and one to seven, which will give you eight. So our answer is correct. Then item fifty seven. Item 58 refers to the following diagram which shows an enlargement. So O A E prime, O B B prime, and O C C prime are straight lines. Triangle A B C is mapped onto triangle A prime, B prime, C prime by an enlargement with center O. What is the scale factor of the enlargement? So we know that for the square factor we can use this relation image length over the corresponding object length so from the diagram we can use this over this or this over this so let's use this over this this is four units one two three four units and this is one two units so four over two will give you two Therefore, the correct choice is option D. Item 59 refers to the following pair of similar triangles. Now, we want to calculate the length of MO in centimeters. So, we know MO over AC. MO over AC is equal to MN over AB. Mn over AB. So we sub in the length M over 7 is equal to 3 over 6. And we know 3 over 6 is the same as 1 over 2. So multiply both sides by 7 to get this. So by 7. So half of 7 is 3.5 centimeters. Therefore, the correct answer is option C. Now let's look at item 50, item 60. Item 60 refers to the following diagrams, and the diagram above not drawn to scale shows that the angle of depression, this angle here, of a point x from z is 30 degrees. If x is 10 meters from y, the height of yz in meters is, so this is yz. And we want to find that in meters. We know we can transfer this angle into the triangle using the alternate interior angle property of power lines. So this is also 30 degrees. You know this line is parallel to this. This line here is parallel to this one. So the interior angles on the z's over here are congruent. So now we can apply the trig ratio that it will involve the opposite zy and the adjacent xy. And that interior that trigonometric ratio is tangent of the 30 degrees angle here. So the tangent ratio is opposite over adjacent. The opposite is yz and the adjacent is the 10 centimeters. Now we multiply both sides by 10 to get 10 times 30 degrees equal yz. So the correct answer is A. So this is the last one, don't forget to click the subscribe button.